I spent my life bringing or hoping to bring dignity and recognition to witchcraft because witchcraft is a heritage from the Celtic tribes. It has been silenced for 2,000 years, so you, most people do not know that we are nature-based, that we do not do evil, um, but that we have our magic intact because our ancestors used their magic. It is part of Celtic mythology and history. And we today do the same things. We've inherited that from our ancestors. So establishing in Salem, Massachusetts, where in 1692 people were hung um, with the wrong definition of the word witch. They had no idea what a witch was. They defined it as a devil worshiper, an evil person. And of course, that is so not true. They wouldn't have known a witch if they ran into one. Um, they probably didn't hang any witches. They probably hung their own people through their superstition and ignorance. Today we are in America, in a democracy where we can talk about our history, our ancestors, and put some dignity to our mythology, which has been lost. All the Celts need to be heard. Our, the voices of our ancestors need to be heard, they're wise. So I decided, it was my life goal, to build a temple in Salem. Well, we have now been federally recognized as the Cabot Kent Hermetic Temple. It's not a physical place yet, but it is on paper and federally recognized. The first in history, and we made history in Salem. We're the opposite of what happened in 1692. Now, what would be most important to the world and to the world of pagans and witches is to have a physical place where they can come here in Salem and say, we are established. We have been dignified and recognized and our ancestors and our parents and all those that came before us, it was not in vain. We are here and recognized and now we can allow you to know who we are. And I think you'll be pleased to know who we are and to know our history and our stories if you are so inclined and you're magically inclined, which most people are. Please help us build our temple.